So prior to Lime, um, I spent the majority of my working career in retail. I started off as a part-time sales associate, worked my way up to a store manager, and I was a store manager for 12 years, but just never really saw the opportunity to grow. So I joined Lime as an account manager of VRC, um, basically a salesperson. Um, was really successful, made more money than I ever had in my career as a sales guy um, than I did any other time in any other job in my life. Um, and just with a couple of years doing that, provided me enough money to invest in a franchise myself. And uh, so it's just been a, a blessing. I love the fact that he was able to make his career a business opportunity, transforming the lives of him and Camilla, fortifying them the ability to live out their American dream through entrepreneurship at Lime Painting. I'm an immigrant to the United States of America. I came here um, 17 years ago as a student, and um, since then, America has been my life. Many dreams come true uh, for me in this country, but the biggest dream was always to own my own business. One of the unique things that, you know, when I was exploring business opportunities and looking at the franchise route, was how close-knit everyone was at Lime. I mean, I, I was you know, lucky enough to join kind of right before or as the expansion was starting with franchises. And um, so it still felt really small and homely at the time. Uh, but just, you know, the relationship you could see um, that my brother Tyler and Kevin from Idaho and Nick and, and just some of the people that were already there before me, you could see how close they were. And, and now being a part of it, you know, you're able to meet the new owners. There's there's constant uh, meeting and communication and brainstorming, and it does feel like a family in many ways. He started off as a VRC at Lime and became the number one VRC in the country, producing over a million dollars his first year. I've had help with my family. My brother owns multiple units, at, you know, six units now. Uh, so he had done it before and. I relied on him just with questions, but I had also worked in the business as, as a, a sales guy for my brother. I already felt pretty confident and comfortable in everything that I needed to do in terms of being successful. It's just the back end stuff, um, you know, the, the checklist that provided and having a family member that had gone through it really worked wonders for me. The favorite part of being an owner for me um, is to have freedom. We have a lot of freedom to design our work schedule around our life, not the opposite. Beginning the franchise was actually, you know, it was stressful just because you're launching a new business, so there's always going to be just inherent stress that comes with that. But one of the things that Lime provides was just a very thorough checklist that you don't miss anything. Um, within some of the different software programs that we have, there's a, there's a, a really you know, thorough checklist um, for you to click through and, and just upload tasks, the documents, everything you need. They, they really make it easy. I think the Lime way is successful for, for a few reasons. We bring a bit of professionalism to an industry that's very blue collar. We, we truly try to set ourselves apart from other paint companies through, through quality and true caring, you know, professionalism, great communication, prompt communication. We work with high-end products, like we vet out different things, we find the best solutions for our clients. We provide more than just paint. We do staining and stamp concrete and stucco work and gutter and we provide all these services, drywall, wallpaper removal and installation. So I think all of those aspects wrapped into one, we, we provide that quality craftsmanship with a lot of other things that maybe a high quality painter doesn't necessarily have on his own.